attention because the stuff's the gold dust. <laughs> I especially want you to have a look at these guys around the edge squirm because this is how to make this is how to make them work really hard and sweat. Okay? So how to choose the injectant. First thing is get a brochure, restyle. <laughs> and immediately ask for a demo. <clears throat> they'll make an appointment, they'll ask you to send some files, they'll ask you to say what substrates you want to print on. <clears throat> send them some files, get some substrates in. When you come along, bring a stopwatch. Do not go without a stopwatch. Right. Nice, easy to use stopwatch. And also bring some files that you forgot to send them, so they'll have to rip them right there in front of you. Okay. Get all the prints printed at a number of different modes through this. So you know, high quality, medium, etc. For every print, time it with your stopwatch. Time the whole cycle: the load, the print, the unload. Write that down on the print. So every print, when you take it back home, you know how long that took to print. Have a look inside the machine. Check out the build quality. Have a careful look. <clears throat> Find out who your local tech support guys. Give them a ring, invite them round. Ask them about the machine, ask them about common failure modes. Ask them about support service. Fujifilm or whoever, get some references. Ignore those references. Ask them for some more references and bring those. <laughs> <laughs> then you're probably in a reasonable place and you can start negotiating. Okay. So, you know, this, especially if you're unfamiliar with this sort of equipment, you can very easily get this stuff. Very easily get this stuff. So, take good care to get some good equipment. Well, thank you, Bill, I, I, I guess. Uh... <laughs>